Who is here? We have eight people so far. Hello, hello. <laughs> I'm not getting any chat. Nothing's popping up yet on my end. Nobody's like, talking. Like There's 19 people. Hmm? Mine just says eight. You don't oh, like how go. I have it. Pat Patricia Kisner. Oh, now it's all coming across. Is yours coming yeah. across? Yeah. Yeah. It's like all coming at once, though. We have Casey, Jill, Paula, Jess. Why are you putting it way over there? Because, oh, maybe, maybe just need to, I don't know. Because this wall looks so blank. Well, because I took all my things down because I didn't know what so I was So I was trying to make it there. look more center. Okay. That's good. <laughs> Oh, hi, Susanna, Carolyn, Anna, Betty, Mama J, Virginia. Hi, Virginia. Hi, Susan. Hi, Karen. Did anybody else have sales today? Hey, Randy. I still don't know what you want to do with that lady's head and the, um, what do you call it? <laughs> I'm starting already with the crickets. Hi, Winter. Hi, Jersey girl. Butterfly nurse. Oh, thank you. Yeah, I just did all my decorating on the inside yesterday, but I still have to do the outside. Hi, Jules. Yeah, we were running late today. I had uh, we went to an um, the estate sale in Lewis or not Lewiston in Wilson again. This was part two, uh, and then we went out uh, to Goodwill. Went out for lunch, and then my mom called and wanted me to go pick up her prescription. And of course, it wasn't ready, so we just got in the door fifteen minutes ago, and I still had to set up. So, <laughs> hi Tammy. Little vintage me. <clears throat> so how's everybody doing today? Is everybody doing their decorating for Halloween that uh, takes part in Halloween? What did I just say? I said for those that take part in oh, Halloween. I was like, what? Hi, Cheryl. Hi, Irene. Hey, Carmen, Margie. You're decorating tomorrow, Mama J. Thank you. Yes, this is one of my thrifted finds. Hello, Sublina. No, wait a minute. S A T X. Yes. No. I can't, <laughs> I can't remember if that's Selena, Rags to Riches, and S-A-T-X, I think is Selena. Celeste, Selena. Oh, my God, Celeste. You know what I meant, though. <laughs> yep, the Alzheimer's is starting already. Oh, you decorated your house, too, Cheryl? I don't know if they're going to have uh, trick-or-treating this year. I would highly doubt it with I mean, everything they that's... they didn't say they weren't. I don't know. Don't put that negativity into well, the no. atmosphere, Keisha. Let the kids have their day. I'm not. I'm just saying. I would highly doubt they would Knock be doing it. They're going to do Jeez, it. Jeez, I can't even say anything. I don't... I really don't think they're going to. Because it's... It's not really, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Safe. I don't think so anyway, but that's just my opinion. Um, but anyways, guys, so I have kind of like a mishmash of stuff today. Um, 
as I was going through everything in my eBay room, I noticed that I had um, quite a few things that have been there for a while that I would really like to try to, um, to move. So, you know, and if any of these things do not sell, then it's called redonate. So, and some of the things I haven't tried to sell before at all, so, uh, which is most of the items. <laughs> so, um, I do have, um, I have, I have four offer up items and I forgot my iPad for the timer. So, I'll be right back. All right, here, let me show you guys the rest of my, uh, my, <laughs> yep, there it is. Hi, Sandy Otto. All right, so I got my iPad, so I think we're ready to go. Okay. Uh, all right, let's get started, everybody. All right, I have a bunch of smalls here that I'd kind of like to zip through. So, um, I have this little cutie. She is a Fitz and Floyd, which I was really shocked when I turned it over and saw that she was a, fl a Flitz and Floyd. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Connie Ansley. But she is adorable. And she has a very light sheen to her. So she's not full bisque. But here's her little sticker on her foot. So I just thought somebody, I had her for a while. And now it's time for her to go to another home. So she is $7 and she's number 15. $7, number 15. <laughs> she's so cute. I love her. All right. Okay, Thrift You, Sam or Sarah? All righty. Um, Next, I have this real pretty set of fall little leaf dishes. You could put nuts in them. You could put little pine cones, whatever, whatever you would like. Uh, one is like a... Hold on one second. Uh, Karen Dondelinger said 15. Oh, she wants the little Fitz and Floyd. Okay, Karen. You got her. So this one is like um, an orangish, pinkish color. And then this one is more, uh, it reminds me of like a marigold color in carnival glass. So you get both, both dishes for $10, number 21 for the two leaf dishes. $10. Number 21. All right. Oh. All righty. Next I have this cute little guy. He's a little Scotty dog. He's very tiny. Hi, Sandy. But he's in good shape. There's no cracks, no chips. There's a chip on his ear. Where? Oh, dang, I didn't even notice that. The very tip of his ear has a little chip right here. Didn't notice it at all, but he's he's pretty tiny. He's $4, number 48. 
four dollars number 48 for the little scotty dog oh susanna okay susanna you get the little scotty dog for four bucks he is cute Okay, um, I have two egg coddlers that I'm offering today. I have this one, which is the larger of the two that I have. It has this really pretty floral pattern. No cracks, no chips, it's in excellent condition. And it's it's made by uh, Royal Wooster. And this is eight dollars number thirty nine. Eight dollars number thirty nine. What is an egg cobbler? Uh you cook the egg in it, I guess. Paula doesn't understand what they used him for either. Kathy, it was very nice, Kathy Clements asked how the shower was. Oh, it was nice. I didn't remember most of it because I was in a uh, hyperspeed, but. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> how do you Hi, Debbie them? Starks. Welcome. I'm assuming, what would you do? Um, like pour boiling water in it and put it in there? I, you know what? I have no idea, to tell you the truth. Uh, I just had subscribers tell me what they are. They did tell me how you use them, uh, but I can't remember. <laughs> but um, apparently they're pretty collectible too. So, but anyway, so this was $8, number 39. I think you, I think you crack the egg and put it inside and then this gets lowered into boiling water. And then you pull this up out of the water by the ring. Hold up. Alexa, what is an egg coddler? Here's something I found on the web. According to MiRecipes.com, egg coddlers are little ceramic dishes with metal screw top lids. Alexa? How do you use an egg coddler? <laughs> okay, for egg coddler, I recommend cheesy Amish breakfast casserole from all recipes. One hour. Oh my god. Alexa, to make. stop. stop. <laughs> Alexa's useless. She is. She's, she's like, uh, so I was right. So that I was right. You put your, crack your egg in here, put the lid on, put this in the boiling water. And then after however long, um, you pull it out. Hmm. Anybody want the egg coddler? <laughs> it's no, nobody number 39, nothing. $8. All right. So nobody probably wants the small one either. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Next, I have a set of owl salt and pepper shakers. Egg coddlers put butter and egg inside, place coddler in boiling water, and cook. Okay, I was, I was pretty close. Hi, Bev. So, I have these. These are really cute. Alexa's never a big help. Mm -hmm. She always tells you stuff that you could care less about, or you didn't, weren't even close to asking has their little stoppers. Very, very pretty. I like the colors. They're like stoneware y. Yeah, kind of. Uh, these are $8 and they're number eight. $8, number eight for the owl salt and pepper shakers. Cindy surfing again. Hi, Cindy. My box came today. I haven't had time to open it. Oh, speaking of which, I think they're still outside. Oh, yes, they are. They're still on in my on top of my bin outside. We uh we ran home and we're running around like nuts. We are 
Alrighty. Hi, Mary. Yep, I got two boxes today. Oh, one's yours? Okay. Yeah, my spice jars. Okay, so I have, it's so pretty. I'm just really mad that I only have uh -oh. one. They didn't take your packages. They didn't take the packages. Nope. <laughs> you know what? I don't get it. I schedule a pickup. I put them in the bin, and I have a sign that says packages with arrows pointing down. At the bin. Hello. Do I have to stand out there and do sign language too? Oh my gosh. <laughs> Whatever. Hi, Natalie. Hi, Sabrina. So as I was saying, I have um, a Lusterware tea set. <clears throat> I wouldn't actually call it a tea set because it only has one teacup, but it's so pretty. Bless you. Oh my goodness, Binks is over there sneezing. But it's such a beautiful color. Hi, Connie. <clears throat> now I'm going to have a coughing attack, excuse me. Such a beautiful color. It is. It's very pretty. You don't see this green color very often. So I have the little teapot. I have the little sugar bowl. Why don't you just do it as a four set? I have one cup, which is a very light color. It, the cup doesn't... I mean, it matches the set, but it doesn't. Like, it's a different color. I think it's just from wear. Yeah, it's like faded. But then it has four little tiny saucers, which would be for the cups, or cup. <laughs> and then it has four little bit larger saucers. And it says made in Japan on the back. So it's four of the larger saucers, four smaller saucers, one cup, the sugar bowl, and the teapot. So, I mean, these could just be used for, you know, decor purposes. Um, I'm selling all the pieces for $12.00. And they're number 11. $12, number 11 for all of the pieces. All right. So that's a no go. All right. Next um, is, oh, that's mine. oh, here. I have a couple of items today, but they're actually things from the shower. They're, I haven't had time to pull Disney stuff. All right, next is this cute little duck planter. And these are all like little manufacturing um, issues. They got a little happy with the black paint, but... There's no cracks and no chips anywhere. Hi, Lynn. Pretty clean. She's cute with her little babushka. <laughs> so she's $10 and she's number 45. Hi, Nate. 10 bucks, number 45. Mary Cox, if you would like this, you need to put in number 45. <laughs> right? Yeah. <laughs> oh, doggone happy vintage and antiques. All right. All right. There you go. Doggone happy. That is, uh, that's Jane, or. Dear Lord, Ma. 
It's um, Jane Newhouse. You got it, Jane. All right. I have a couple pieces of milk glass. This is a, a very tiny, it's very pretty. Little, uh, I guess, I mean, you could put anything in here. Earrings. Earrings. Um, you could put, I mean, whatever. Cotton balls, um, pills. It's really pretty. Oh, wow. Oh, wow, Aunt Dana caught a huge fish. Oh, boy. My aunt went fishing today and just sent a picture of a huge fish. We'll have to show you. But oh, my it, goodness. It has the three feet on the bottom. No cracks, no chips. Well, I'll just zoom in on the fish. Now. Six dollars, okay. number 33. Look. Wow. Six dollars, number 33, for the little milk glass trinket dish. Oh, it's all three of us in the thing. That's weird. Maggie M, I believe. Yeah. You got it, Maggie. Wow, it's a big fishy. All right. Maggie M. Okay, uh, one more piece of milk glass. And um, it's just this jar. We used it for sugar. Yeah. What does that say on the bottom? It says... Oh, show the fish. Something... Made in Belgium. It was made in Belgium. And it's a really nice... It has the little um, seal. Very clean. No cracks. No chips. And this is going to be seven dollars, number thirteen. Seven dollars, number thirteen. Hi, precious. Cindy Stone. Okay, Hold Cindy on. Stone. You get the milk glass jar. All right, I'm coming around. With okay, the she's going to come around with the picture of the fish. It's a nice large mouth bass. I'm trying to like zoom out of Uncle Mark's face. <laughs> oh, oh, there we go. It's a big boy. Oh my goodness, he's a little fatty. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty big. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Hi, Stacy. Yeah, my uncle, the fisherman. I think the one Aunt Dana caught was bigger than Maybe, that. Maybe, but I don't know. Aunt Dana might have caught. Excuse me. <laughs> Can you move? Yeah, that was a nice fish right there. Get out of there, girlfriend. <laughs> Let's sit in the window. Come on. Oh, bass are so delicious. Oh, They're nice and sweet. Oh, yeah. yum. You are sick. Okay, I have a clown alert. These are these are cute clowns, though. They're not scary. I have, I actually sold these before, but the person never completed the um, sale. Um, so I have the set of two. This little guy playing the um, saxophone. saxophone. Yeah, it's a saxophone. And then this little guy with his umbrella. They're really cute. Very, very cute. So I'm offering the set for $14 for both of them, number 17. $14, number 17 for the pair. Uh, Darlene Holgerson. Hol Holgerson, Darlene. Yeah, um, thank you, Darlene. I sent Darlene um, a planter for mm -hmm. her mother-in-law. Oh, here, give me some stuff. Oh, well, those, um, this, Stacy's this, go. little girl, this, stick her in there, while she fit. <laughs> <laughs> and this, everything else didn't uh, sell, I don't think. Right? Uh, I don't know. 
Okay. <laughs> We're just making a run to take stuff back to the room that's sold. <laughs> okay. Um, I have... I have never tried Mahi Mahi, and I, I've always wanted to try them, but I never have. I used to go fishing all the time, and I haven't fished in, the, like, the last two years. It's delicious, is it? It, so, it probably is. I love um, any kind of fish. Um, I have this set of little uh, Toby pitchers. They're pretty cool and they're pretty old. Uh, they're made in Japan. Colonial men. Yes, they're called Toby. I don't know why they call them Toby pitchers. This is just little cracks in the paint, I believe. I don't believe, I don't know if they go all the way through or not because they're still connected unless somebody glued them. But, yep. So you get the set of two for $8, number 20. $8 for the set, number 20. These would look cute in a bar. Oh, Darlene. All right, Darlene, you got them. All right. I'll set them over here. All right, another item that sold and the person um, never got back to me is this little guy. Um, he is like an Oktoberfest looking kind of little boy here. It's a little, creepy. It's a little planter. He's The brick wall he's leaning on is the planter. Um, I do not know who makes them. I don't know if it's, I know it's not Royal Copley. It could be Shawnee. I'm not sure. But he's in good condition other than um, a lot of crazing. So he's uh, $12, number 47. $12, number 47 for this little cutie. All right, I have a couple of uh, really cute personal creamers. So this one is from Bedford, Ohio, Bailey Walker. This is the bottom. I know it's blurry. And this is the creamer. It's in perfect condition, no cracks, no chips. It's probably about maybe two and a half inches tall. It's it's little. And it's a real pretty, like a um a dark rose color or like a, a wine color. So this is six dollars and it's number one. Six bucks, number one. It's a personal creamer. Wow, that would not even Sandy Bailey. That wouldn't even fit about a quarter. Well, of she the puts a half. Is. She puts a quart of creamer in each cup of coffee. It's like, how about a little coffee with that creamer? Holy cow! All right, and I have another one. This one's cute too, with the little uh, black and white checkered border. Hi, Kathy Biller. Um, this one is not marked on the bottom, but it is free of cracks and chips, no crazing. It's really cute. Reminds me of something from like, you know, the 20s, I guess. I think when I look at the top of this, I think of the black and white um, little octagon shaped tile floors in a bathroom that they used to have. <laughs> That's what it reminds me of. So this is also $6, and it's number two. $6, number two. It's cute. 
you. Oh, Susanna. Oh, Susanna. It's all yours, Susanna. Oh, Susanna. All right. Um, I have a beautiful, it's not, I can't even say it's red and white because it's more of a rose color and cream background. This little cup. And um, it is a picture of the Massachusetts Hall. That's the bottom. This I purchased at an estate sale a little while ago. And it's really, really pretty. But it's tiny. It would be like a little kid cup, you know. And then it has the design on the handle. Very pretty. Uh, this is $5, number 37. $5, number 37. All right. Okay, I have a really pretty, for you owl lovers out there, a very pretty, um, I believe this is a home co piece. This beautiful owl. He's in excellent condition. I do not see any cracks or any chips anywhere. He has his wings spread out like he's about ready to take off. And he is bisque. There's the marking on the bottom. Isn't he pretty? So this guy is $10, number 35. $10, number 35. Linda Dickerhoff. Oh, there, I was just thinking, if Linda was on, she would be buying this. Hi, Linda. <laughs> All right, you got it, Linda. All right, okay. So, for the ones of you who are like very um, like minimalist, this would be something, I think, this is more of like a modern piece. This is not vintage in any way, shape, or form. But I've had this for I don't know how long. Actually, I have two of them. So, if anybody's interested, the first two people will win this item. And it is this very modern-looking horse. Wait, time out. I just had a thought process. Okay, it's, it's not super heavy, but since there's two, maybe you could use it as bookends. Oh, yeah. Like, that's... have one facing this way and then one facing the other way. Yeah, that's an idea. That's a good idea. I know. <laughs> um, so, this is what he looks like. Like I said, very minimal detailing. Um, this is a manufacturing defect right there where it looks like where the, um, the paint and the glaze kind of missed. Um, but they're very cool. And like I said, I do have two of them. Uh, so... The first two people to put in, uh, first let me tell you, they're $10. And the first two people to put in number nine will get the two horses that I have. Okay, well. Very, very cool. Okay, so Cindy Stone put nine. So yes. my question to Cindy is, would you prefer both of them to use them as bookends or singly? Well, precious lavender buttons. Well, you didn't give the option. Well, we we already said that. Well, yeah. She was the first one, so. so oh, she wants, she wants both. both. Okay. For bookends. Okay, so then it's um then it's going to be twenty dollars for the pair. For the pair. Are you okay with that, Cindy? I'm sorry about that, precious. That was my mistake. I should have reiterated that. 
said yes. Okay. okay. So, all right. I'm going to just mark times two, times two. All right. Two piece. And I have their original boxes too, which is nice. And all the, um, the styrofoam inside to pack them in. So that'll work out great. Oh, Joanne Baker. Joanne! Dang it! I hate when people change their names. <laughs> <laughs> I'm confused enough already. Now you really got me screwed up. Hi, my puppies. What are you doing up there? Hey. <laughs> you too, huh, Lynn? <laughs> okay. My next item, this is really, really pretty. Um, and it is a music box. This is from Heritage House. What? I don't know if it... It's Beethoven. Look how pretty that is. That's what it is. It says it on the bottom, Virginia. Yep. It's called For Alyssa. Alyssa, Alyssa. I thought it was for, whatever, F-U-R. See? For Alyssa? Yeah, F-U-R. For Alyssa. For, for Alyssa is the name Something of the song. Like F-U-R-E-L-I-S-E. -E. For Alyssa. Yes. It is a beautiful piece. This is $12, number 25. No cracks, no chips. Very pretty piece. Mary Jo Vakovsky. Oh, okay. Hi, Mary Jo. Yep, I can't believe, like, the flowers are all intact and everything, especially this one up here. It's beautiful. All right, guess what time it is, everybody? Cowbell time. It's cowbell time. Ring, ring. <laughs> ring, ring. <laughs> it is time for the cowbell. An offer up item. Mm, so, you know what? It just dawned on me that I didn't mention to anybody that's new here. Jess, will you uh, type in my email address really quick? So if you are new to the live sales, um, what you will do is after the sale, uh, my daughter's putting my email address in for you. You will send me an email with your real name, your YouTube name, your mailing address with the zip code, and your PayPal email address. And what I will do is I will then send you an invoice for your total with the shipping, because none of the prices include shipping, okay? Um, now, for the offer up items, uh, you will have one minute to offer your offers <laughs> in dollar increments. After the minute, we will refresh the page, and whoever has the highest offer above the word stop will win that item. So, our first offer up item is this beautiful Empoli uh, pedestal bowl in emerald green. I had a really hard time letting go of this because I just love it. It's so pretty. It's just gorgeous. That's a giant like goblet. It's so it is. It is so so pretty. So if anybody wants a fishbowl like drink or something. Margaritas. Hello. <laughs> How tall? Um it is. Let me grab my ruler. I knew I forgot. All right, I'm a ballpark it. I'm gonna say I'm gonna say, I was gonna say nine. I'm gonna say eight. Let's see. Seven and a half inches tall, and it is five and a half inches around 
this way, not, not around this way. So this is a beautiful piece. Um, I'm going to start offers, <clears throat> excuse me, at $12. All right. Yeah, that's a pretty big wine glass there, Dana. <laughs> that would probably fit a whole bottle. Dana. Where'd you get Dana? Grace? That's Grace's name, Dana. Oh. <laughs> I was like, it says Grace. <laughs> All right. Ready? Natalie says, Barbie dolls are 12 inches. I use that to mentally gauge. Hey, that's a good idea. Great idea. All right. So, is everyone ready? All right, start. $12 is the starting offer on this gorgeous piece. Hi, Alex. Shell house games, 15. Yeah, it is beautiful. What's up, girl? How's the new house? Isn't it beautiful? I just, the color alone is, is gorgeous. I have a, um, we're getting down to 20 seconds, guys. Michelle Gomez and Linda Dickerhoff at 16 doll hairs. Cheryl Hoskins at $20. All right. 10 seconds, everyone. Sabrina Simon. Oh, they're at the same price. Sabrina. Oh, fun wow. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're refreshing to see who wins. All right, it appears. Oh, dear. We have a commercial. Yeah, always. Um, oh, where'd the chat go? Ah. Oh, there we go. All right. <laughs> so I have Sabrina Simon, $22. All right. Sabrina Simon, you are the winner of this gorgeous and poly footed bowl, pedestal bowl. Gorgeous. When you get it, you're going to be like, oh my God. It's, it is beautiful. Sabrina Simon. All right. And 22. All righty. Okay, I have this very pretty. It is just a plain clear creamer. This is a really nice size. I believe it's like four and a half inches tall. It has a pretty design. And the scalloped top, this is the bottom. It is, it's really, really pretty. Let me measure it. I'm pretty sure it's about, yeah, it's four and a half inches tall. And it's, like I said, it's good size. This is $10 and it's number 36. $10, number 36. It's really pretty. It reminds me of like from the 30s or the 40s. Darlene Holgerson. All right, Darlene. You got it. Okay. How about a really, really pretty vase? Now, I just think this is so pretty. I don't know why, but I just do. It is a little bud base, and it's an aqua blue and yellow. The top of here is uh, has been polished. It's nice and smooth. And then it's got these little ball things in the bottom. I don't know what the significance, see them? I don't know what the significance is of those, but they're in there. They're like glued in or something but it's really really pretty and this is like uh, about three and a quarter inches tall this is eight dollars number 46 
$8, number 46. All righty. <laughs> no, I'll do mine. No, I know. I wasn't getting yours. I was trying to decide which one of these. All right. I that have, looks very cottagey. Yes. I have a very, very pretty um, tapered candle holder. I like that color. It does have one issue. It did have, well, it does have a little chip there, which I tried to touch up a little bit with some watercolors. So it wasn't so noticeable. But it's this really pretty, it has a nice design on it. There's like flowers and little swirls. It's really pretty. It's like a, kind of like a sage, sage green. Now this is, I believe, from Portugal. It's very hard to read. There is a mark on the bottom and there is a lot of crazing. I don't know if you guys can see that, but this is the mark, and it's very faded. It's it's really hard to see. Um, so, and this is eight, about eight and three quarter inches tall. This is ten dollars, and it's number thirty eight. Ten dollars, number thirty eight. Wow, I'm not doing well at all today. <laughs> okay, next I have, this is really pretty. Uh, for those of you who like birds, this is a beautiful, uh, you could use it as a bud vase, like a double bud vase or as um, a planter, I guess. Air plants would be good in here. You could put one here and one here. Um, now he did have uh, a chip here, which was touched up with watercolors, but he has beautiful coloring and he is made in Czechos Czechoslovakia. So this is going to be $10, number 22. $10, number 22, for the Pretty Bird Planter. Elizabeth goes type 26. What's that? Elizabeth goes type 26. So, I don't, oh, oh, no, she fixed it. Okay, you got it, Elizabeth. All right, I mailed your package out. Or maybe that's one of the ones that the mailman didn't take today, unless he's coming back. I don't know. But, all right. So, Elizabeth gets that one. All right. I have some uranium glass for you. Look at this bad boy. Glow it away. It's this gorgeous juice reamer. <laughs> I just love uranium glass. Um, this is in really, really great condition. Uh, the only issue is that it does have some little flea bites. Um, like really, really tiny though. On the edge here. But other than that, everything else is in great condition. There's no cracks, no chips. Beautiful, beautiful piece. And this is a good size. This is $14 and it's number 31. $14, number 31 for the Uranium Juice Reamer. Yes, indeed. 31, you say? Yep. Elizabeth Gov. All right, Elizabeth. You get this beautiful uranium glass. Oh, 
All right. So we go from juice reamers to ashtrays. <laughs> I have this uh, 1970s uh, Sereno, Lido Sereno gold ashtray. Uh, I believe it's Anchor Hocking that made this. It's that, you know, that lovely 70s gold color. It also looks like wood grain. Yeah, it does. It has like a wood grain kind of a pattern. It's really cool. Um, it does have a couple little chips. Like over here where the cigarette sits. What's 31? It was the uranium juice reamer. Okay, yeah, that one, that got sold already. The The juice reamer got sold, um, Darlene. Darlene. Maybe um, go out and refresh if you're behind. Or it yeah. seems on our end that you're a little bit lagging. Yeah, this is, um, this is a smaller one. This is about six and a quarter inches around. I mean, there are some that are pretty, pretty large, but this is a, probably a medium size. Yeah, it's really cool. This is $10 and it's number four. $10, number four. You won the, the, the uranium glass, Elizabeth. Did you sell the green item? Is that what she was talking about? That's what I'm assuming. You're talking about the uranium glass, Elizabeth? Hmm? Uh-huh. Empty nesting, number four. Okay. Empty nesting, you get the ashtray. Thank you. There was an item before that. Oh, Oh, um, the candle holder? This one? Hi, Chris ABQ. Oh, you have a larger matching one, do you? <laughs> okay, yeah, nobody bought this. This was $10 and it was number 38. Okay, all right, you got it, Elizabeth. Okay, um, let me do a few more things and then Jessica's gonna sell her few things that she has. My throat, I don't know if it's allergies or what, but my throat is like dry. I don't know. All right. For you crafters out there, I have three, three books of craft booking paper, three of them. I will show you all three so that you can decide which one you want to bid on. <clears throat> you said that. The bad B that you can offer. Oops. <laughs> so, each one has 48 sheets. These were never used as far as I know. So, the first one has all of these, like, tropical, summery, kind of beachy themed papers. They are really beautiful. Oh, well, I'm on. Okay, so that's the first one. The next one is this one. It's called Let It Snow. 
And it has pictures with snowflakes, Christmas trees, reindeer. Oh, they're coming out. I knew that was going to happen. Hang on, guys. I knew if I opened it like that, they were going to come out. Anyways, this is foxes. And then we have snowflakes. Cones. trees so those are all the pictures of this one and then the last one is called marble love and it has all these different marble looking pictures or sheets I should say not pictures Yeah, it is. It's a Snapchat uh, picture. Um, so, as I said, there's 48 sheets in each, um, each book of papers. Each one of these is $8. So, I will start with this one first. So, this one is going to be number 29. Number 29 for $8 gets the marble. Shirley Pearl. All right, Shirley Pearl. So, how do you want me to do this? Are you going to give the other ones different numbers? Um, yeah. Okay. The next one is this one with the, the you know, outdoor related snowflakes and pine trees. I just, I just labeled it as scrapbook winter paper. Yes, scrapbook winter paper. This one is $8 and this is going to be number 80. 80, number 80 for this winter one. Shirley Pearl. All right, Shirley Pearl. And finally, this one is just going to be... This one, like, this one's really pretty. Oh, it says Insta... Insta Crush. Oh, so it's supposed to be like Instagram. Oh, okay. So it's, I guess, based on Instagram. What do I know? All right. So this one is also $8. And this is going to be number 90. Nine zero. Hey, number, Banksy. Number 90. Banksy. Uh-oh. Diane Carolyn. I believe. Yep. Hi, Banks. What's up, buddy? Hi. Hey, kid. What are you doing? <laughs> Hello, I knew it wouldn't be long. <laughs> Hello, I don't have nothing for you. you go. All right. Hi, I have a Pyrex casserole dish for you. Waving of the flag. <laughs> go see your mother. Go sit on your mother's lap. Come here, Binks. Binksy. Binksy. Come here. Back it up, kid. Come here. Oh. All right. So, this is a really, really nice casserole dish. This is the early American pattern. Oh, Pamela's here. Pamela, baby! <laughs> So, this is in excellent condition. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> Guys. Come on, Binksy. Come here. Come on. Come over here. Hello. There you go, kid. 
Move it along, son. <coughs> oh, my goodness. Good grief. He hasn't seen me since this morning, you know, until we got home. And so he's, like, losing his mind. But anyways, um, so let me show you this. The inside is very clean. There are no utensil marks, no scratches, nothing. Okay? And there is no paint loss on the outside pattern. Again, this is the Early American. And it is the number 043, one and a half quart. The only issue this has is a little, um, little tiny chip right here on the corner of the lid. And it's like pretty smooth. So it's been there for a while. But other than that, it's in like great condition. This is $14 and it's number 24. $14, number 24. Really nice piece. Twenty-four. Linda Dickerhoff. Linda, you got it, Linda. Linda, Linda, listen, Linda. Okay. One more item, and then Jessica will do her couple of things. Okay, y'all, who wants a really awesome piece of vintage Tupperware? You saw this in one of my recent haul videos. It even has the instructions. Wow. Horse Doovers. It's called the Servant All Set. Horses Doovers, yes. Hors d'oeuvres, cookies and confections, cheese and crackers, fruits and cheeses. So, your dip goes in here. It has the lid. The dip goes in here. Your vegetables or your fruits would go or down chips. here, chips, chips whatever. And then it also has, how does it go? It goes it like has this. The option to go on top. Yeah, here. you could do it like this as well. This is in like, this is in like brand new condition. I don't think it was ever used. Really nice piece. You could see it says Tupperware right there on the top. Excellent, excellent piece of Tupperware. So you get the set with the directions for $14, and it's number six. $14, number six for this vintage Tupperware. Paula's Projects. Okay, Paula's Projects. Paula. Thank you, Paula. All right. Are you ready to do your uh, yeah. your few things? After she gets done, then we'll do another offer up item, everybody. Oh. Okay. Hello. It's me. <laughs> um, thank you guys for all of your kind thoughts and wishes on uh, the bridal shower vlog. Um, I haven't had a chance to really like watch it or anything because it took me like four or five days to unpack everything, repack everything, <laughs> all those things. So um, the few items that I have to share with you guys this week are actually items that I purchased from different estate sales and stuff uh, for like decorations or whatever. So the first one is one of the trays that we used for the finger sandwiches. Um, it's just a clear glass, but it's very warm tone, so you could use it for, you know, fall time or whatever. And it has the gold hardware. Uh, this is, it's on the other page. Oh, okay. Uh, this is $12, and it is number 50, 55. Hopefully next week I'll be back to um, getting some uh, Disney things 
but just haven't had the opportunity to yet. Um, oh, Elaine Wallace. Elaine Wallace, you got number 55. Thank you. Um, the next item is technically new old stock, and when I bought this, um, originally we were going to use it for like our cake, uh, but because we substantially downsized our wedding, I don't even know if we're doing cake, just being honest. Um, but it even has like the receipt from the person who bought it and where they bought it from. Yeah, from Jen's department store. This is from, it actually has the date on here. Uh, 2000. This is for 20 years old, but brand new. Um, and this is by the brand Andrea by, or well, Andrea by Sadek. Attic? I don't know. Whatever. But this is the little pamphlet that it comes with. So it's a serving spoon. Well, not really a spoon, but a serving, um, like almost like a pie cutter. And it's ceramic, right? Is that what it would be? Ceramic? Um, I believe so, yeah. Ceramic or porcelain, I don't know. But it's actually made in Japan. So there's like the stamp. And at the very bottom there, you probably can't see it. But it does say made in Japan. So there's, Hi, Debbie Pale. so there's the little cake cutting slash pie thing. I don't know. And then also the plate that comes with it as well, which is really pretty. We were going to use it for the shower, but we didn't end up using it. But it's super cute. Um, really pretty this colored is flowers. fourteen dollars and it is number forty three. Beautiful set. All right. And then one item that actually wasn't for the sale um, that I picked up on a whim because I like wearing aprons uh, because I think I'm Laura Ingalls Wilder. But I bought this one from an estate sale, and it's not in the greatest condition, but I figured for um, just decoration purposes. So the little, it's like a pinafore style. So it has the, um, this like rooster um, breast area. Oh, Darlene, did you want the, the cake plate and server? Hi, Nebby Pale. Darlene said 43. Yeah, she, yes. Okay. It's, uh, you got it, Darlene. Okay. Thank you. Um, so anyway, so it's this just like a tan colored apron and it has pretty long ties and it does have a front pocket. But again, like I said, it's not in the best shape. There is some staining and stuff on it. Um, but this I'm offering to you guys for $5. And it is number 56. Sis. All right. And then the last two items were items that I used for decorations. There's two sizes. Um, they're both different, but they do look cute together. They are these decorative teapots. So these are not actually meant to house tea or hot beverages, anything like that. They're just merely for display purposes. The top of this one reminds me of a mushroom. It's kind of like that domed look, but they're like little cottages. So they're really, really cute. So this is the bigger of the two. They're is a sticker on the bottom and it says made in Taiwan. I don't really think that they are that old, um, but I don't know, I just got them for decoration. So the bigger teapot is, oh, let me wait, see. hold on. It's $12 and it's number 49. This is cute. Mm -hmm. And then the second one, is much smaller. Again, only meant for display purposes. This one does have like a little bit of either uh, manufacturer like paint issues. I, I don't really say it, it's like a chip, but like 
The paint didn't adhere. On the handle, there's like some of the brown paint here. You can see there's a little bit of brown paint loss, but it all feels unison. Like it doesn't feel raised or, or like less than as if it was a chip. And then it has a little top. This one is $8 and it is number three. And that is all for me. All right. Toodles. <laughs> Alrighty. Hello. Hello, Gabna. All right. What was 56? 56? Oh. 56. Was, was the apron. Okay. Yeah, yeah. All right. Okay. Carry on. Carry on. It is time for an offer up item. Hello, Teresa. All right. Let me just set these over here. All righty. All right, I have this awesome relish tray and it's attached to a like silver plated tray underneath. Tell me this is not beautiful. And it has a design on the tray itself that you can see through the glass. I know I messaged you um, Tuesday morning, Nebby, but you never answered me. Um, so this is the bottom. Oh, no. Hello, sir. He's back again. <laughs> Hi, Hi bubbas. Are you going to move? So, but it has the center compartment. Hey, kid. Come here, then. And then it has four other sections. So five sections in total. Beautiful, beautiful piece. Um, and I actually, I, I believe it weighs like about four and a half pounds. It is not a light piece, but it is beautiful. So we are going to start offers. Did I, did I have this as the offer up? Silver and glass relish. Yeah. Yes. We'll start offers for this at $10. So is everyone ready? Banks, Banks, buddy. All right. I'm going to hit the start button. Ready? Starting at ten dollars. Go. I'll be right back. Just take over for me. <laughs> hey, Binksy. Chrissy Box at ten dollars. Cheryl Hoskins at fifteen. Excuse me, sir. I can't see. Excuse me. Beep beep, Banks. Mm. Jeez, kid. Stop. No, stop. Stay. Stay there. There's uh, 20 seconds left. So far we have Cheryl Hoskins at $15. <laughs> Thanks. Get going. Darlene at 16. 10 seconds left. Five, four, three. Two, one, stop. Hold on. I got a commercial, y'all. Uh, let's see. Live chat. All right, so we have Cheryl Hoskins at twenty doll hairs. Um, Cheryl. All right.
right. Uh, I guess I'll do the next item because she's a little busy. Oh, hold on. Come around. I'm going to pick something that I know what it is. This looks easy. Okay. Next item is these little turkey lurkey salt and pepper shakers. They're by the brand Harvest Garden. Did you want me to take them out to show them? Yeah. Okay. Oh, these are cute. Are they're they very, pretty? They're very festive. Yes, they are. We got this little turkey lurkey. <laughs> it has the uh, rubber thingamajig. Rubber stopper. Made in China. I don't know. Thanks. Come here. He's chilling. Then we got the other turkey here, lurkey. Mommy. Very cute. Come here. It looks like this little turkey lurkey yeah. has a little bit of paint loss there. Oh, dear Lord. Manufacturing. But, yeah, it's, it's just uh, glazed in it here. So, anyways, the turkey lurkeys are $10, and they're number... 28 $10 number 28 Sophie why is everyone I think it's Jill Mozina I think so all right wow, I'm she's a back busy. <laughs> <sighs> Good grief. Hi, guys. Right. Hey, man. I'm coming. so Jill you did win the turkey lurkies <laughs> Sorry guys, I had way too much to drink today and I could not hold it any longer. You know how it is when you get older. All right, Binksy, you gotta go, Bobby. Oh, now I got her on my lap too? It's a party, it's a party, okay. it's a party. All right. Woo wee! <laughs> hey Randy, little vintage me. A All right. A oh, now she's going to start singing that damn uh, Adam Sandler song. A turkey for me, a turkey for you. No, you're it all wrong. Whatever. I don't care right now. I'm tired. <laughs> oh, thank you. Yeah, this is one of my thrifted shirts. Always expect that whatever she's wearing is thrifted. Right. Um, okay, I don't know if Jeffrey Ross is on today, but I thought of him when I decided to try and sell this because I think it's so awesome. Um, or, you know, ladies out there that golf, it is this vintage electric putter. Uh, it works perfectly because I plugged it in and I tried it. Look at the graphics on there. First of all, let's talk about the color of the box. Okay, it's pink and black and gray and white. So this is called uh, Oscar Jr., your putting partner. The perfect gift for everyone young and old. So... On the side, it says, improve your golf game, scores one, two, three points for accuracy, returns golf balls automatically, receptacle for holding ball. It is really cool. Let me show you. This is it. Comes with the little flag. <laughs> Here's the plug, and like I said, I tried it. It works perfectly. It has a, a setting for a long or a short shot. It's really, really cool. So, let's see if I can get this back in the box. It's got a warranty on the inside. It's from Chicago. I don't see a date though. It's the model Junior 100. But anywho, this 
awesome putting thing is $12, number 42. $12 and number 42 for this awesome putting help. <laughs> Elizabeth Gov. Elizabeth, is it Gov or Govy? I've always wanted to ask you, is it pronounced Gov or Gov E? Go, go. I think it's go. I don't know. So, what do you want? Long O. Go. Gove. Gove. Got it. All right. I have a. Okay, that's it. Gove. I have a beautiful piece of Flow Blue. It is this beautiful creamer. It has gold detailing. And you could see that blue flowing down into the white. Hi, Darby Deb. It's just gorgeous. No cracks, no chips. The bottom has dis is like discolored. You know what it is? This didn't take any of the um, glaze and this is shiny. So this is like bisque and this is um, glazed. You could see it. It's really strange. But this is beautiful. This is $12, number 44. $12, number 44. Oh, Paula. I know, people need to glaze better. What the hell? Ooh, almost missed the chair. Yeah, it's really funny looking. Can you see that? It's, it's weird. So, Paula. Thank you, Paula. This was for the, um, number 29 was for the uh, pads of scrapbooking paper. Uh. Alrighty, um, I have a beautiful, I don't know what it is with me and creamer and sugars, but I could not pass this set up because it is really a beautiful set. This is Mikasa. Um, that's the bottom. And it's a beautiful ivory color. But it also has a band of blue going around here and some other blue detailing along with the gold. It's just gorgeous. <coughs> God bless you. Thank you. That's the creamer. And this is the sugar. Just a gorgeous set. Look at the lid on the sugar bowl. I love the design. Just beautiful. So you get this set. No cracks, no chips, perfect condition. $12. Number 50. $12. Number 50. Beautiful set. All righty. Okay, so I really don't know if this is a, a piece of Murano glass. I know they say that Murano glass... The bottom is polished really, really well. So if you look at the bottom of this vase, I mean, it is a shining, smooth as a baby's bottom. But this is the vase, gorgeous blue swirl pattern. 
really, really a pretty piece. And it looks like a bow or whatever is tied around it and it has the little dangly ends. Yeah, this is like really, really cool. Um, I don't feel any cracks or chips or anything. There is, it's like a little rough spot right here, almost. I don't know if it's a flea bite, I'm not sure, but I mean, just gorgeous. Uh, so this is going to be $14, number 41. $14, number 41. Uh, egg boy. Egg oh, boy. Hi, Dana. Oh, what you doing here again, Aunt Dana? <laughs> All right, Anna, you got it. All right. Aunt Dana, I'll be coming over at some point, either tonight or tomorrow, to come get my dress. Yes, we have an Aunt Dana. They live um, most of the time in California, but they come here from May until October. All right. Let me grab some more pieces over here, you guys. Look at these nice spice jars I got from Amazon. And look, it even came with... I, I almost had jars just like that. Oh, and it comes with all the labels. Nice. Nice. <laughs> All right. Hold on, guys. I got to bring some stuff over here. All righty. I don't know. We'll do this one next. Very nice. All right. Okay. So, I don't know. I just think this is such a cool piece. Um, I kind of, I wiped off the lid with a, um, is that hole? a wipey wipe. So it's got like water spots on it. But no, um, I don't know really who makes this because there's no markings on it. But this is a really nice, brown drip casserole. It's got the, the, the hole in the top for the steam. Really, really nice piece. I would say it's probably about a one and a half quart size. It's, let's see. It's about three and a quarter inches tall by about seven and a half, three quarters inches around. And it feels like it's about two and a half pounds. Yeah, it's really nice. So this is, I can't find my tag, $10 and it's number 32. $10, number 32. Yeah, it would be excellent for baked beans, for sure. Sue Golombeski. Oh, Golombeski. Thank you, Sue. You got it. Sue Golombeski. Excellent. All right. I have a real pretty little white hobnail uh, perfume decanter. Has uh, gold detailing on it. No cracks, no chips. Are you sure nobody put the sparkles on it? I don't know if they did or not. They don't come off. So, huh. um, this is... What is this? Made in Japan. A.W. something. 
just a really, this would look pretty on a perfume tray. This is $6, number five. $6, number five for the perfume decanter. Mary Cox. Mary Cox. You got it, Mary. Okay, another really cute piece. I wasn't going to sell this because I'm just a sucker for this kind of stuff, but uh, this is made by Carlton Ware, made in England, and it's this little dish, but look at the picture on the inside. How adorable is that? Like, I, I would say 70s. Just adorable. Hi, Stacy. So this is going to be $6, number 40. Six buckaroos, number 40. And Dana. And Dana. <laughs> I'll bring it with me. Yes. I don't have to ship it. I don't care. <laughs> All right. Um, let me see. Oh, I do. All right. I have a beautiful lidded candy dish, you guys. It is Diamond Point uh, Cranberry and Clear. It is beautiful and of course it is flashed on cranberry there is a little scratch as you can see right here but other than that it's in great condition there's no chips no cracks and this is oh. yeah this is like about 12 and a half inches tall, and it measures about five and three quarter inches around. So this is $14 and it's number 12. $14, number 12. Yeah, it's really pretty. Elizabeth Gove. 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 Yes, yeah, sorry. <laughs> Thank you, Elizabeth. All right. Um, let's do another offer up. I have a fairy lamp, but it is not your you know, stars and bars fairy lamp or any of those, you know. Um, Fenton fairy lamps. It is um, just a um, uh, hold on guys. <laughs> I can't see. Home Co. I couldn't think of the darn name. It is a Home Co. one which I already have one. Yes, that's it, Lynn, thank you. <laughs> um, just the plain crystal, but I gotta tell you, when there's a candle in here, it's beautiful. I should have put a candle in it. Let me put a candle in here so they can get the, see how pretty it is. Uh, thing over there? What? It's over here. Hold on, y'all. I feel like Pamela. She gets up and down, up and down. Looking everywhere for everything. All right, let's get, get her lit. Let's get her lit. All right. Oh, hold on. Let me get the ambiance for one. 
Oh, there we go. Oh, look at that. Oh, look at that. It's like a disco ball. <laughs> I did say y'all. Isn't that gorgeous? For the remainder of this offer up, we will have the lights dimmed yes. for your convenience. We will leave the lights dimmed for this offer up. So we will start offers at $10 for this beautiful fairy lamp. Is everyone ready? Okay, start. I know, isn't it beautiful? I love the, the way it shines on the wall. I found one of these a while ago and I kept it. I have it in my living room. Just gorgeous. It's actually still pretty light in here, but. It is. Yep. So we're coming up on 30 seconds, everyone. Elizabeth Gove is in the <laughs> lead for 18. Darby Deb, 20. Yep. It's gorgeous. Hi, Julie. Elizabeth, 21. 10 seconds, everyone. Nope. Cheryl Hoskins, 25. Four, uh, ignore, three, ignore that two, pigeon. one, stop. Yeah, I know, I saw it. All right, we're going to refresh and see who the winner is. Oh, hold on. There we go. <laughs> All right, so Smoke City. We're ignoring that one. Correct? Yep. All yes. right. So Cheryl Hoskins, twenty-five. You got her, Cheryl. It's gorgeous. Wait till you get it and put your candle in there. It is so pretty. Because I was like, I could sell mine, but then I would be pissed at myself for selling it. And then about three weeks later, I found one. <laughs> so I got to keep it. Yay! Ugh. What's that? Oh, groovy Pigeon said why and then said I'm reporting. Reporting what? Hmm. All right. Anyways, continue on. All right. So, next I have a set of really, really Groovy Pigeon, did you want that for $50? Call the YouTube police. Oh, you're funny. You are funny. Cheryl, did you still want it for... Um... Cheryl won it. Okay. Cheryl won it. Groovy Pigeon is a troll. Okay, so... Um, I have these beautiful salt and pepper shakers, and these are large. These are large salt and pepper shakers. They have beautiful blue and white design with flowers. Really, really nice, substantial salt and pepper shakers that you don't have to keep refilling every, like, week. Um, they have the S and the P on the top. Really, really nice. These are $10 and they're number 18. $10, number 18. No, you are the scam, Groovy. Mary, uh, sorry, Elizabeth G Gove. Elizabeth so, Gove. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna get. <laughs> I've been saying it wrong the whole time. So now it's just, I know, me too. Now it's just in my brain. It's hard once you say somebody's name a certain <laughs> way and then realize you've been saying it the wrong way. It's hard to um, say it the correct way. All right. Um, let's see. What else do I have? Okay. I have only one of these, but this would still be beautiful to use um, for the holidays. And it is this triple candle holder 
Really, really very pretty. Uh, it doesn't have any cracks, no chips. Really, really pretty. You could put some flowers around the bottom, um, like fall flowers for Thanksgiving. Put some orange candles in here or red candles or green candles for Christmas would be gorgeous. Or blue and silver if you celebrate Hanukkah. Yep, blue or silver, yep. So this is $10 and it's number 23. $10, number 23. Yep, I'm still on here, Sarah or Sam. I don't know which one of you it is. All right. Oh, dear. No, this is the stuff that well, didn't yeah, but I'm all right. <laughs> I think it must be Sam. Is it Sam? I heard soccer. Soccer? Yes, her little ones play soccer, her uh, little boy. Football. All right, next I have, I have this set of plates. Um, first I have this one. I, I just love the colors of this one. It's a really pretty, um, like a turquoise-ish green color. Ooh. Ooh. And then I have this one, and it kind of they kind of go together because they both have blackberries or raspberries on them. This one is much uh, less vivid and more muted colors. Really, really pretty. So I have these two that I am offering. It's twelve dollars for the pair. And they are number 34. $12 for the pair, number 34. Mary Cox. Oh, thank you. Did you get, did uh, you wait, see? Wait, hold on. Linda Tool, T-U-E-L-L, -L, wants the candle holder, the crystal candle Oh, holder. okay. All right. You got it, Linda. And then Mary is 34. Yes, she gets the plates. Thank you very much, Mary. Yes, here, you want to see up here, Grace? There we go. I did, I, I uh, filmed my uh, Halloween tour, which I was planning on um, uploading uh, later on tonight, I guess, so... Yeah, I still have to do the outside, but that'll be a separate video. I do, I do. <laughs> um, okay, next I have, this is a really cute set of little um, dishes. Kind of like a little taller than ramekin. Yeah, they're a little taller than a ramekin. I mean, it could be used to eat hard boiled eggs in. You could eat oatmeal in them. You could use them for um, for food prep, uh, yogurt. They're really, really pretty, and they have that little speckled design. Yep, pudding, custard cups. Um, there is no maker on the bottom, but they're really, really pretty. I love the two shades of green. Um, so these are... Eight dollars, number twenty-seven. Yep, you could do use them for hard-boiled eggs or soft-boiled eggs. Eight dollars, number twenty-seven. Mary Jo Veskovsky. That she said that. <laughs> Sorry. 
Mary Jo Veskovsky. Veskovsky? <laughs> Veskovsky. She's not real good with pronouncing no, names. No, I think it's Vakovsky. Vakovsky? Vakovsky? Yeah. I didn't see it. Vakovsky. Okay, I had an S in there. I ha I said Vaskovsky, but yeah. whatever. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, Mary Jo. <laughs> <laughs> I remember my mother making custard um, and, and it had nutmeg on top. Oh my God. Ooh, I just, rice pudding. Yeah, rice pudding would be good in there. Ooh, yum. I have a recipe for rice pudding that's phenomenal. Okay. Mm -hmm. Do we need the oven for it? <laughs> no. <laughs> All right, I tried to sell this before, and it was a no-go. Hello, Jay Weeks. So, um, but I'm going to try them again. Maybe we have a different crowd today. Um, oh, the recipe? I know. I, I, I asked the person for the recipe because I really don't care much for rice pudding. But this pudding was so amazing I said, I, you got to give me the recipe, and I never made it. <laughs> yep. Anyways, I have these. Um, they're coming up not the right color. They're um, they're literally a, a nutmeg brown. Really? I was going for shit. <laughs> <laughs> My daughter. <laughs> I said, they're, I said, they're a nutmeg brown. She goes, really? I was going for shit brown. <laughs> but they are very mid-century modern-ish. <laughs> um, they are made in Japan. I don't know if I got it upside down. <laughs> uh, here it is. There we go. But they're really cool. <laughs> Anyways, the set is ten dollars, number nineteen. Ten dollars, number nineteen. <laughs> oh lordy. <clears throat> Elizabeth, go. All right, Elizabeth. Thank you. I think it's a really cool set. It looks like a cinnamon, like a cinnamon brown. No, cinnamon has a red tint to it. This does have a reddish no, tint to doesn't. it. No, it doesn't. Yes, it does. It looks. Okay, Elizabeth, when you get them, you tell me what color brown you think these are, okay? Shit brown. No, it's not shit brown. It is not. It is. No, it's not. It's like a nutmeg brown or a cinnamon brown. <laughs> See, everybody's everyone's got my back. It is not poop brown. Yes, it is. Uh, <laughs> no, you need your freaking no, glasses switched. I know. <coughs> no, it's not really a greenish brown. It's, it's not. It's a warm tone brown. It's just seeing anyway. whatever, whatever. Poop brown. Okay. The poop emoji. Alrighty. I love the poop emoji. Yes, I do. Um, okay, next I have, this is a really cute um, item. Um, you could use it as like a regular little file folder or like an accordion folder. But it is this really pretty, it's an accordion folder, file folder. So what, cards? Um, you could use it for greeting cards. You could use it as um, your own, like, personal little file Recipe. for medical things. Yep, you could put recipes in it, whatever you would like. And you just tie it together in a little bow. It's really nice. Like this. Very, very pretty. And this is $7.00. And it's number seven. Seven dollars, number seven for the little accordion file folder. Linda. Linda, Linda. Linda. Listen. Okay, Linda. 
Yes, we are going to be using the cowbell very shortly. All right, I have a couple more items and my last item will be an offer up. So, does anybody like to play poker? <laughs> I have an amazing, oh wow, look at this deck of cards. Oh How God. cool is that? Look at those. My neighbor just texted me. Did you? Did somebody ask when I was getting married? My aunt just texted me and asked if I responded. I must not have seen it. Uh, we get married on Christmas Eve. Okay. I have this amazing poker set. Oh, strip poker, Nate. Oh, do you use chips in strip poker or just clothing pieces? <laughs> yeah, this is in excellent condition. It comes with two decks of cards. The cards are brand new, never opened. We have a regular deck of bicycle cards, but then we also have this deck. Check those out. Brand new and sealed. How cool are those? So. Bakelite? You know what? I don't know if it's Bakelite or plastic. It looks like it could be Bakelite, but I really don't know for sure. So I don't really want to say. Um, I really don't know how to tell. I know they say that if you if you rub it, it smells like ammonia. Ew. Yeah, that's what they say, but I don't know. So this is $15, and it's number 26. $15, number 26. It's a great set. Uh, Linda, Linda, Linda. Oh, Linda, you're going to play some poker, girlfriend? All right. <laughs> All righty. I'll just put that over here. Okay. So, I don't normally, I don't normally buy, like, pieces that are, like, chipped if I can help it, unless I think it's not that big of a deal. And that is the case with this vase here. It was just so pretty that I didn't want to leave it there. Um, it is made in Japan. Yeah. But look at this gorgeous vase. Isn't this pretty? I love, look at the colors. Now, two of the flowers are missing petals. There's one missing here and one missing on this one. But it's so pretty and it has it has a little bit of a iridescence to it. Mother of pearlish. It's just so pretty. And it measures um it's about eight and three quarter inches tall. Really, really a pretty piece. Show you up close the flowers. Really pretty. This is $8 and it's number 10. $8, number 10. Really pretty. Lily's mom. All right. Thank you very much. All right. All right, I have two more pieces, and then we're going to do my last offer up. And then a rerun. Um, this is a beautiful cup that I had in my living room for quite a while. It is made in the Czech Republic, and it is this cup. The colors are gorgeous. What's caca? <laughs> it's another name it. for poop. 
Caca. We used to say that to the kids when they were little. Don't put that in your mouth. It's caca. <laughs> oh. But anyways, this is a beautiful cup. And here is the markings on the bottom. <laughs> so this cup is... Hey, uh, what is it? Is it the check one? Yeah. The check cup is $6 and it is number 30. $6 number 30 for this beautiful cup. Oh, Linda. Linda, Linda. I wonder what happened to my... Huh. Man, I'm like a pro at writing Linda's name. Oh, here it is. It fell out. Ugh, there it is. There it is. All right. And my last item um, is another creamer. I have creamers up the yin-yang. This one is false graph. Are you not doing that? That's an offer up. Oh. Um, this is a false graph piece. And it is uh, like like a stoneware, I guess. It's mm -hmm. a nice substantial creamer. It has these pretty um, blue bluebells or whatever they're called on the one side. And then on the other side, it has, they look like um, cherry blossoms, perhaps. Foxglove, okay. Yes, you're correct, foxglove. And I should know that because I had one in the backyard. Foxglove and are those cherry blossoms, no, you guys? No, that's not cherry blossoms. Well, what is that? Uh, not a cherry blossom. Okay, what is it? I have no idea what it is, but I know it's not cherry okay. blossoms. Okay, well, it has these flowers and we don't know what they are. <laughs> but anyways, and it says false scrap on the bottom. So this is $8, number 14. $8, number 14. A cabbage rose? I don't know. I don't know. It's just a flower, yes. Uh, Darby Deb. Okay, Darby Deb, you got the creamer with the flower that nobody knows what Questionable it is. Questionable flower. Oh, Rose of Sharon. That's what um Linda says it is. I don't know. Darby it's just pretty. Darby Deb. All right. So, my last item is going to be an offer-up item. And I really couldn't decide if I wanted to um, sell this tray or not. But I know that I'm never going to use it anywhere. Um, unless I have a bar, which I don't have right now. So, um, I am offering up this awesome Coca-Cola tray. Um, she's really in good condition, except for, as you can see, there is some little area up here of some rust. And she looks like she has a wart on her chin. <laughs> like a rust there. Yeah. Um, but she, really, she's in great shape. She is from 1987, I believe it says. Um, I don't know if you're going to be able, you probably won't be able to see that. It's hard to tell because it's got a scratch. But the picture is the of the 1908 calendar lady. Yeah. So it's really an awesome item. Okay, so this will be my last item. It is an offer up item. We will be starting offers at $10. So, is everybody ready? Oh, shoot. I'm not. Oh, shoot. She's not. <laughs> All right. All right. Are we ready? Set. Start. $10 is the opening offer. $10. How did we go from poop to three ways? What's that mean? I'm missing it. <laughs> oh. She is a beauty. 
30 seconds. 30 seconds, everyone. 10 or 20 seconds. What are you clapping about over there? <laughs> 10 seconds, everyone. Four, three, two, one, stop. <laughs> All right, let's re let's refresh. Live chat. All right, so I have Elizabeth Gove, fifteen dollars. Elizabeth Gove, fifteen dollars for the tray. Thank you so much. All right, so now I am quickly. I am quickly going to go through the items that did not sell. Um, I had quite a few today. So we will try to do this quickly. Um, do you want to do these two first since they're right here? Oh, okay. Uh, so, uh, oh, I have the thing right here. Yeah. All right. So we were offering these two teapots from Jessica Shower. Looks like a little cottage. Again, they're in excellent condition. We were originally asking 12. Um, we'll go down to $10 if anyone's interested. $10 for this cottage teapot. Number. It's number 49. Number 49, $10. All right, moving on. We have this other little teapot, also a little cottage. It's adorable. Oh, Elizabeth, go. Oh, Elizabeth you want the teapot? This is 10. Okay, for $10, you got it. And next is this little uh, cottage teapot. Um, this one was, I just had the thing. It was $8. It was, no, yeah. was it? Eight. Oh, well, I'm not going to come down any more than that on here. I don't think. Seven. We'll go down to $7 on this one. It was eight. We'll do seven for it. Number three. Yep, number three. I just had that tag. I dumped it out. Oh, that's because I threw it back in this one. <laughs> Darby Deb. Okay, $7, number three. You got it, Deb. Thank you. All right. Next is this gorgeous Mikasa creamer and sugar set. It's in perfect condition. It's absolutely gorgeous. It really is. It is it is stunning. So I was asking 12. Um, I guess I could let it go for 10, but that's as low as I'll go on this one. It's $10 and it's number 50. $10, number 50. Okay. Next was this. Oh, Elizabeth. Oh, Elizabeth. Okay. You got it. Elizabeth, you're going to need quite a large box. Mm -hmm. Just saying. <laughs> All right. Next is our little Oktoberfest boy planter. He's a little cutie leaning up against the brick wall. A lot of crazing, but there's no chips and no cracks. Yeah, two boxes. <laughs> Cheryl knows. I'd rather use two boxes than risk having something broken because there's too much in one box. 
Uh, so I was asking 12. I'll go $10 for this little cutie, number 47. $12, number 47. You mean $10? Did you say 10 or did you say 12? 10. Ten dollars, number forty-seven. Suji. <laughs> All right. All right. Jess, while I'm doing this, you want to just put my email address in real quick. So anybody um, that's new, you will need to email me your name. Your mailing address with the zip code and your PayPal email address so that I can send you an invoice which will include the shipping costs. Thank you, Annie. So next I have these really pretty little leaf dishes, just perfect for fall. They're just a little decoration. I mean, you could use them as trinket dishes. You could put... I don't know. A spoon rest. A spoon rest, yeah. So you get the set of two. I was asking ten. I'll go down to eight dollars. And these are number twenty-one. Eight dollars, number twenty-one. My wedding is on Christmas Eve. Linda, Linda. All right, you got them, Linda. How much were they? Did you say eight dollars. Um, Okay, I have this real, I can't believe these didn't sell. These really adorable little owl salt and pepper shakers. These were actually brand new in the package. I took them out of the package for the sale. Um, and I had these for $10, I think. Bye, Pamela. I will go down to eight. Uh, what did I have them for? Their number? Oh, they sold. They did? Yeah. Cindy Stripping again. Oh, never mind. I didn't I didn't think they sold. Yes, they did. I'm sorry. I had them in the wrong spot. Oops. <laughs> My bad. All right. <laughs> I was about to sell them again and make twice the profit. Okay. Um, this is the Massachusetts Hall Cup. It's a cream color and a rose color. 1636, 1936. It's a little tiny cup, probably for espresso. It's very small. Um, I was asking $5 for this. I will go down to four. And it's number 37. So four dollars, number thirty-seven. Hey, come away. Okay, Anna, what's wrong with um Annie? What's the matter, Annie? Oh, she slept through it. She said she wasn't feeling well. Oh, okay. Well, I hope you feel better. All right, whoops. Next up, I had this really pretty uh, bud vase. It's aqua blue and yellow. It's really, really cute. Um, I had it for $8. I'll go down to $6, number 46. $6, number 46. Hey, Nicole, how you doing? Carmen Zermino. Okay, Carmen, you got it. Yeah, the colors are beautiful, Nicole. Oh. All right, I have this no, real... That sold too. That sold too? Yeah. Dang, I sold more than I thought. <laughs> I was trying to keep them separated. I'm positive it did. Hold on. Because you had it listed as a glass trinket dish. Yeah. Yeah, it's sold. Okay. All right. So, I have two egg coddlers. I had this one, 
which, you know, which is a larger different. one. See, I'll show you the difference in the size. That okay. That cuter. They're both really pretty. You didn't show that one at all, though. So you never showed the small one. You only showed the big one. Oh, no, I didn't show this one because nobody was interested in the big one. So I just figured they wouldn't want, you know, this one either. But the big one... I was asking um, $8 for, I'll go down to $7 for this one, Egg Coddler, and it's number 39, $7, number 39, and this one, uh, Karen, Karen Dandelinger, okay, $7, number 39, she gets that one. And then the smaller one, I really, I'm, I'm not going to go down oh, anymore. You didn't even show it. Yeah, uh, no. this one is $5, and it's number 16. $5, number 16. Karen. Karen, okay. And the last item that didn't sell... What's this from? What was number eight? The owl song puppet. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. Um, the last item that didn't sell was the um, Lusterware half tea set. <laughs> Partial tea set. It has the teapot, the sugar bowl, one cup, <clears throat> and eight different size saucers. So it was all these pieces. I was asking 12. I'll go down to $10 for the set. And it's number 11. So $10 for all those pieces, number 11. And Dana. <clears throat> and Dana, really? <laughs> okay. All right. That is all, folks. And that is all, everyone. Thank you, everyone, for showing up today. I really, really appreciate it. No shipping. I know. I know. I Oh, Binks came to say goodbye. Please don't show the butthole. <laughs> I gotcha. I gotcha. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Thanks, everybody. Thanks for coming. Don't forget to, if you've never um, bought from me before, don't forget to email me your information. All right, guys. Goodbye. We'll see you again. Bye. <laughs>